English Language Day, the 23rd of April. English Language Day is observed annually on April 23rd. The date happens to be the birth and death anniversary of well-known writer William Shakespeare. English Language Day is the result of a 2010 initiative by the Department of Global Communications. It is celebrated internationally as the UN Observance Day to propagate harmonious communication. Dhanlakshmi Bank signs Mao with CBDT and CBIC for tax collection. Dhanlakshmi Bank has signed in Mao with the Central Board of Direct Taxes CBDT, and Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs CBIC, for the collection of taxes. With this, customers will soon be able to pay their direct taxes and GST payments and other indirect taxes through the branch network and digital platforms of the bank. Kilo India University Games 2021 begin on 24 April 2022. Vice President of India M. Venkaya Naidu declared the second Kilo India University Games 2021 open at the Sri Kantarava Indoor Stadium, Bengaluru on 24 April 2022. The Games are being hosted by Gen University with support from the Karnataka State Government and the Sports Authority of India. About 3,879 competitors from 200 plus universities will be participating in 20 disciplines. NMDC wins first position in four categories at PRSI Awards 2022. The National Mineral Development Corporation ETD. NMDC won the first position in four categories at the Public Relations Awards 2022 conferred by Public Relations Society of India PRSI. NMDC Limited is a government-owned mineral producer. It is involved in the exploration of iron ore. Copper, rock phosphate, limestone, dolomite, gypsum, bentonite, magnesite, diamond, tin, tungsten, etc. Torrent Power buys 50 MW solar power plant from Ski Power Group. Torrent Power has entered into a share purchase agreement, SPA, with Ski Power Southeast Asia 3 Investments and Ski Power Southeast Asia Holdings 2, the sellers. It will acquire 100% securities of Sanshikti Solar Power Project, the SPV. The enterprise value for the acquisition is 417 crore rupees. Currently, the SPV operates a 50 MW solar power project in the state of Telangana. Aditya Birla Capital appoints Vishakha Muli as the next CEO. The board of Aditya Birla Capital has appointed Vishakha Muli as the next chief executive officer of Aditya Birla Capital. Muli is currently the executive director in charge of corporate banking, proprietary trading, markets and transaction banking. Muli replaces Ajay Srinivasan who will now take up another role within the Aditya Birla group. GOT announces food grain output target of 328 MT for 2022-23. The government has announced a food grain production target of 328 million tons for 2022-23. The target was announced at the National Conference on Agriculture, Kharif Campaign 2022 in April 2022. Kharif or S food grain production target has been fixed at 163.15 million tons, while the Ravi food grain production target has been kept at 164.85 million tons. National Panchayati Raj Day, the 24th of April. National Panchayati Raj Day is celebrated by the Ministry of Panchayati Raj on the 24th of April annually. This annual celebration is done in order to commemorate the historic day on which the Constitution Act 73rd Amendment was passed in 1992. However, it came into existence a year later on April 24, 1993. Then PM Manmohan Singh declared the first National Panchayati Raj Day on 24 April 2010. RBI imposes 17 lakh rupees fine on Manappuram Finance. RBI has imposed a fine on Manappuram Financing, a non-banking finance company, of 17 lakh rupees for violating KYC rules and prepaid payment instrument norms.
The penalty has been imposed in exercise of powers vested in RBI under Section 30 of the Payment and Settlement Systems Act 2007. The company was found to be in violation of RBI instructions on KYC and minor PPI standards. LV Vadyanathan appointed CEO of India. Procter or Gamble India has appointed LV Vadyanathan, who leads the company's business in Indonesia, as the new CEO. He takes over from Madhusudan Gopalan who will move into a new role at the parent company as senior vice president or endish, grooming and oral care, Japan and Korea. Vadyanathan has earlier served as the chairman of the Indonesia chapter of the US ASEAN Business Council. Cyrus Punavalla becomes richest healthcare billionaire in the world. Cyrus Punavalla, the founder of Serum Institute of India, is the richest billionaire in the healthcare sector in 2022, according to Hurun Global Healthcare Rich List 2022. He has a net worth of $26 billion. The second richest healthcare billionaire globally is Thomas Frist Jr. and family. The third and fourth on the list are from China or Madish. Lee Ziting and Zhu Hang of Mindre. India gets elected to four United Nations ECOSOC bodies. India has been elected to four United Nations Economic and Social Council ECOSOC bodies. The bodies include the Commission for Social Development, Committee on NGOs, Commission on Science or Technology for Development, and Committee for Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. The UN Charter established ECOSOC in 1945 as one of the six main organs of the United Nations. New Zealand pacer Hamish Bennett announces retirement from cricket. New Zealand pacer Hamish Bennett has announced retirement from all forms of cricket. Bennett made his international debut for the Black Caps in an OD against Bangladesh in 2010. He went on to make 31 appearances for New Zealand across all formats, taking 43 wickets and was selected in the Black Caps or squad for the 2011 ICC Cricket World Cup in India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. 165 feet tall Indian national flag to be installed in Manipur. A 165 feet tall Indian national flag the highest in the northeast region, would be installed at the Indian National Army Headquarters Complex at Moirang of Manipur. Manipur CMN. Biren Singh announced this on the 78th anniversary of Flag Hoisting Day observed at Ina Mata's Memorial Complex, Moirang, in April 2022. The pole for 165 feet tall Indian national flag has already been erected. Dr. Suman K. 